Kamada is a commercial stage biopharmaceutical company focused on plasma-derived protein therapeutics. Our flagship product, Glossia, is the protein alpha-1 antitrypsin, also known as AAT, indicated for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. With strategic focus on fields of unmet medical need, Kamada retains its global leadership in AAT research for additional indications. This video illustrates the mechanism of action of AAT and its possible therapeutic effects in various medical conditions. Alpha-1 antitrypsin AAT is a 52 kilodalton serum serine protease inhibitor that is produced mainly by the hepatocytes to the circulation and locally by mononuclear phagocytes and epithelial cells in the lung and the intestines. AAT is an acute phase protein with a major role in regulation of inflammatory processes. It is the most predominant protease inhibitor in the plasma. Its normal concentration is upregulated several folds during inflammation. Subjects genetically deficient for AAT have low circulating levels of functional protein and are at increased risk of lung, liver, and pancreatic diseases. Plasma-derived AAT has been in clinical use to treat AAT deficiency for more than 30 years. Accumulating data demonstrates an excellent safety profile of the product. There is an increasing body of evidence demonstrating additional properties of AAT other than protease inhibition. These properties may lead to new therapeutic possibilities of AAT in multiple indications. Anti-inflammatory effect of AAT. Inflammation is the method by which the immune system is recruited to the site of damage, whether the damage is caused by infection, autoimmunity, transplanted organ, and so on. A local immune cell, represented here by a single macrophage, reacts to the insult by secreting the chemokine IL-8 that acts to recruit different kinds of immune cells. The first cells to arrive along the gradient of IL-8 are the neutrophils, which are members of the phagocyte cells that react within minutes. Additional signals secreted by the macrophage belong to the group of inflammatory cytokines, IL-1 and TNF-alpha activate the endothelial cells lining the capillaries, which respond by expressing P and E selectins. These receptors allow tethering and rolling of immune cells in the blood. In addition, IL-1 and TNF-alpha induce the expression of the high affinity receptor ICAM-1 closer to the site of inflammation. ICAM-1 mediates the firm binding of the immune cells to the endothelium, which is followed by increase of the endothelial layer permeability to permit the transmigration of immune cells to the site of inflammation. Another pro-inflammatory cytokine produced by the immune cells is IL-6, which is responsible for monocyte recruitment and promotes the differentiation of the monocytes to active macrophages. Intravenous administration of AAT delivers the drug to the site of inflammation where it can interact with the local phagocytes, the monocytes, and macrophages. AAT attenuates the secretion of IL-8 and the pro-inflammatory cytokines and shortens the inflammatory process. In addition, AAT has a systemic effect. In response to an insult, Activated local innate immune cells start to secrete GCSF, which enters the blood system through the capillaries. GCSF interacts with the pre-neutrophils, causing them to mature and to differentiate into mature neutrophils. Mature neutrophils are recruited to the site of inflammation. In addition, local immune cells secrete GMCSF, which also enters the blood system. GMCSF stimulates stem cells to produce monocytes that are recruited to the site of inflammation. The monocytes then differentiate to activated macrophages. The GCSF and GMCSF spread throughout the whole blood system, leading to generalized systemic activation and maturation of pre-neutrophils and monocytes production. 
Intravenous administration of AAT delivers the drug to the site of inflammation, where it interacts with monocytes and macrophages. AAT inhibits the secretion of GCSF and GMCSF, which in turn reduces the number of recruited monocytes and neutrophils. This process is reversible in case of pathogenic infection. Immune modulation and tolerance induction by AAT occur through its influence on dendritic cells. Dendritic cells determine the fate of naive T cells in the body according to the invading pathogen. In the context of intracellular pathogen or tumor, the dendritic cells secrete IL-12, interferon gamma, and CXCL10 to give rise to Th1 cell differentiation. Th1 T cells direct the immune system to fight intracellular pathogens and tumors. Unwanted Th1 cell responses can lead to autoimmunity and transplant rejection. Dendritic cells respond to bacteria and other extracellular pathogens by producing IL-6 that, together with TGF-beta, will give rise to Th17 cells. The Th17 T cells fight pathogenic infections, but unwanted Th17 cell responses can be responsible for autoimmunity and inflammation. In the absence of IL-6, TGF-beta together with IL-10 promote the development of T-regulatory cells, Tregs. These Tregs downregulate the activities of Th1 and Th17 cells. The administration of AAT interferes with NF-kappa-B nuclear translocation in dendritic cells and therefore indirectly influences the fate of naive T cells. AAT reduces the levels of interferon gamma, IL-12, and CXCL-10 and thereby inhibits the Th1 pathway. The levels of IL-6 are also reduced by the presence of AAT inhibiting the Th17 pathway. Without IL-6, TGF-beta together with AAT-induced elevation of IL-10 levels activate the T-regulatory pathway. Tissue protective and anti-apoptotic effects of AAT. AAT protects lung alveoli by inhibition of neutrophil elastase. In addition, AAT reduces caspase-3 mediated apoptosis in lung alveoli. In the intestines, AAT preserves the barrier function of intestinal epithelial cells in vitro and in vivo. In type 1 diabetes models, AAT was shown to increase beta cell survival, completely abolish caspase 3 activity, and reduce anti islet immunity. AAT is a safe protein with multiple physiological roles that may lead to new therapeutic indications. It is an anti inflammatory protein. It has a systemic effect on immune processes. AAT possesses immunomodulatory capabilities including inhibition of Th1 and Th17 pathways and tolerance induction. AAT has tissue protective and anti-apoptotic effects. AAT's unique properties and demonstrated clinical safety render it an attractive therapeutic candidate for various conditions where there is currently unmet medical need.